This is really Pooh Bar. I'm coming back to you with the day three of Seven Days to Die. I'm the new, improved, more excited, vocally, really Pooh Bar. Yeah! Alright, that's enough of that. Alright, so <clears throat> before we had a left off and we were on. We just came into day three. So I was walking through. We gathered, we uh, hid out in the woods the first night uh, on top of a rock. That was fun. Uh, found out that as long as you're not in the seventh day, as long as it's just a regular night and the zombie's looking at you, uh, fine and dandy, but if he loses sight of you, he just goes into sensing, and then if he can't see you, because I boxed myself in, then uh, he loses track of you. So that was a good thing to know. Uh, we went through making arrows, crafting over the night, we got our skills up and everything. So today we were in a town and um, we got some good stores to go through the popping pills. We've got a uh, the uh, Tim the Two Tailor tool store. I forget what it's called. But anyway, we should find some good stuff in there. So um, I'm excited about it. So uh, let's get to it. And uh, see what we can find. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to, I think I'm going to hit the tool store. See if I can find any uh, schematics. Maybe we can make a mini bike or an auger or something like that. It would make it a lot easier tearing stuff up. I'd really like to try an auger on a uh, on the stones to see how fast that rolls through stuff. Of course, I think I'm going to have to do gas for that too. So, All right. Hope y'all are... Um, Having a great time. Good day. Uh, while we're waiting here, if you would, just uh, subscribe. That would be very helpful for me. I'd like to get some more viewers going. I'm kind of new on doing this, and I'm enjoying it so far. So, uh, so yeah, click the uh, like button on the video, leave comments, pass it on to other people. You know, I would appreciate all the help I can get. So let's see what we're going to get. Let's uh, get ready. It's 4.35. That's my daytime. Uh, let's see what we have in their inventory and what we want to take with us. I need to get some water today. Definitely need some more food, probably. Let's, uh, what do I got in my trunk? I don't even remember. It's been about a week since I've done my last video, so. Uh, I got some eggs and stuff. I need to get some more water and I can boil those. I got tons of eggs, so that'd be good to do. Um, I don't... I do have a iron pickaxe, so that's good. I'll need that for metal. Uh, looks like, yeah, we got our weapons up to the mid 100, so that's good. Coal there, I don't have anything in there. Alright, so let's get out of here. We'll build up our uh, house a little bit later. I need my pickaxe, or my uh, stone axe, don't I? That would help. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll make our. Uh, Make our stuff a little bit more secure. Uh, and I think... I got, only got 13. How did I get off before? I think I came up from the back side. Uh, what I need to do is make a better way of getting up and down from this place. That way I don't have a problem of getting up and down quickly. I think I want to do it from behind because I'm kind of paranoid. Uh, the zombies kind of hang out front sometimes, so let's make a little walkway here. Alright, come down here. Can I get on the side? This, this gets to be a tricky part. On these edges, you tend to fall off a lot, so luckily I'm making myself look good right here. So what I'll do is I'll generally... Oh! Until I fell off right then. So what I'll do is I'll generally put it down to that point right here. And then at that point, they cannot, um, they, they can jump up on something, but they can't really jump across. So I'll do this so they've come up to the top and I'll still have to jump across. So that'll be okay. That won't be so bad. Uh, and I could actually, I'll deal with that later. I don't care. All right, let's go, let's go find stuff. Uh, I'm in the working stiff. That's what it is, working stiff. Uh, you know some. I, 
I'm a dummy. I do have to go back up. Yes, I don't have my torch, and I probably don't have the stuff to make stuff with, do I? And I want to be able to see in there, so... Oh, yeah. There we go. And hop up even. Do a jump cross. Alright, yeah, they won't be able to do that. Yeah, I need to make sure I don't fall off right here. Because I tend to go fast when I'm running for my life. Alright, let's go get my torch. Because I will need that. Alright. Now we're cooking. Alright, back down. Sorry for that foo bar there. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah, that was bad. Alright, so hopefully we'll find some good stuff in here. Um, really need some food though, man. Can I pull this yet? Running. Yeah, we got some medicine. That's good. Uh, Painkillers always help. Alright, so before I couldn't get any of this stuff because I didn't have the room. Make sure nobody's snuck in here. Alright, we seem to be good. Uh, you know something? I'm going to... I swear I keep hearing stuff. I'm going to beat the crap out of this zombie. Maybe I'll get a uh, bone. And that's what I want right there. So now, see, we've got this bone. And so later on, when we kill an animal... We can take that and use a shiv. So let's, if you click to the left right there, how it says recipes, do the left directional. You have a recipe for bone shiv here. So that will help you get more meat, more, um, it's also a weapon, but um, more meat, more uh, hides and everything when you actually skin an animal. So that'll be helpful. Okay. More jars, more jars, I'll take them. Uh, it looks like I'm hungry and thirsty. So let's eat. Did I bring any food? I got my cornbread I made, don't I? Let's go ahead and eat that. And that'll bring your wellness back up. Can I... There we go. Alright. Let's do one more water. That's not enough, man. I need more food. More food and water. Alright, so... By the way, I have, you'll notice this vending machine. So when I first started playing, I thought, well, you know, I don't have any money. I'll just beat the crap out of it and get all the stuff out of it. It just disappears. It's just, it's gone. Uh, so that didn't work out for me. So just FYI, um, keep it around in case you uh, can ha actually get money like that. This course, man, nobody's been shopping here. They don't have anything. Alright, let's go see what we got. Um, man, it's super dark in here. I need it. I need a uh, miner's helmet. Once we get a miner's helmet, that'll help. Alright, so if you notice here, the box is totally closed. You don't have the option of searching, so you only want to go one level into it. First 200. Once you do that, it'll be searchable. Don't go any farther than that because you can destroy it and then you won't get any more pops on this. This will, later on down the line, after spinning on your settings, we'll give you the ability... Oh, sledgehammer, that's sweet. And an iron. So you'll use that or that anvil right there for your forge. So that'll be more helpful. So that's, that's a good deal. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take that sledgehammer and I'm going to move it down here for a weapon. Because that's a great weapon. Um, but yeah, so, you, so that will pop later on. So don't destroy those. Uh, you'll regret it later. And before I move out of this room, I'm going to hit everything in it. So I know I don't have to come back. Nothing there. Look up high. Sometimes you see them up there. You know, you see one there, though, but, you know, sometimes you, they'll actually have them up high on the wall. And so you, uh, you want to make sure you check all angles. Come on, give us some, uh, give us an auger. That'd be great, right? What is that? 
That is hard metal door. That'll be useful when we're making a little bit better of a place. But you know some um tell you the truth, man, I don't use doors. I always box myself in. And the reason I do that is because it seems like zombies are always attracted to um doorways for some reason. I couldn't tell you why. I don't know. They, they just rather come in and go through a door than anything, I guess. So I always box myself fully in. That way I don't have to uh, worry about them seeking that doorway. Of course, I guess there's negatives about that too. I mean, if, they gotta, if they're coming through a door, you know where you're needing to repair possibly, right? Uh, mechanical parts, that could be handy, and a, a crappy iron shovel. We'll just recycle that one. Alright, we got something over here. Gunpowder, or uh, paper for making shells for a, a shotgun. That, maybe that's one thing that we can get done today, too. Maybe we can do the blender bus. That would be nice. That thing's empty. Already hit this? No. Nope. I already got that. Yeah, I need some food though, because I'm hungry, man. I can hear my belly growling. Never see anything this way. Everything's up top. We're good there. Nothing up there. Ah. Man. So, shopping baskets are. Oh, there's some water. Sweet. Um, shopping baskets are. You'll find empty ones. Once in a while, and what you can do actually to the shopping basket is when you make a mini bike, you can actually add that to your mini bike for extra storage. So that's kind of handy. All right, so let's go in here. So we got this is a bathroom. Let's see. hopefully find some more water in here. There's some stuff that we can scrap. Bathrooms tend to have water, water or murky water. Sometimes you'll even find poop <laughs> in the toilet. We'll see if we'll look out and get some poop. I I wonder if I can actually throw that at the zombie. That would be pretty good. No poop today. They actually flushed. We got another opportunity over here. Oh, we got poop. <laughs> A human turd. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny. Oh. That they actually called it a turd. So we have the option of taking half. I don't think I'm going to take it. I'll just leave it there. But you know something? I think until you take it, I don't think you can actually uh, repop. So I'm dumping it. Yeah, I touched poop. I know. That's nasty. I have to wash my hands if running water was actually going on here. Bandages, they will tend to stop your uh, bleeding if you get hit. Sometimes you get hit by a zombie. And uh, when you do, you'll start bleeding, and you can bleed out. So bandages are always nice to have. And let me hit that, I guess. All right, so nothing up top. We got any ladders in here to hit up. Nope. All right. Make sure we didn't have any ladders in there because I don't want to leave ladders for zombies to come up. Areas I might not have been able to see. There we go. There's the empty shopping cart. We're gonna grab that. That's what I was talking about. You can take those and put those on. Uh, your mini bike can be real helpful. Uh, sometimes, even in these areas like this, you actually have forges and different things. There's a safe, or um, a safe. We'll nail that here in a minute. But yeah, some some of these stores actually have your um, tool tool tables, you know, working bench, workbenches, stuff like that. And uh, so, if you don't can't make any, they're handy to have. Uh, it's a Rebarb frame. That's kind of cool. When we get somewhere, they're actually going to use them. I'll save one of those. I can hear a zombie. Let's squat down and see if he says this. Doesn't look like it. Man, we're getting a lot of mechanical parts, chainsaw blade. We're getting some good stuff. I mean, it would be nice to have a whole item, though, wouldn't it? So, starting to run out of space though. Let me trash some stuff here so I can take this, get rid of that, scrap that. What else can I scrap here? I already got a better one than those. I don't need that. I can scrap that one. I've got a better one here too. I got 
put some food on that. I didn't notice that earlier. That's sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and eat that now because I really need to anyway. And then I'll scrap the can. Nope, I'm not detected. Okay. Now right, let's get this uh, scrap iron out. And all, that always fakes me out. I always think that's trash I can get, but it never is. There's your door. We got lots of them over here. Check this out. Exciting. Actually, let's do this. Let's throw that up there so I don't have to hold on to it. It'll be in the dark. Yes, yeah, so to throw that on your wall or throw it wherever you want to, uh, it's L2. So it makes it kind of easy. Iron. Fireman's axe. Some friends, those will be handy. I heard somebody doing the whole thing inside. Somebody speaking Swahili, possibly? Oh, yeah. Those? I don't even know if you use the calipers anymore. Or somebody roaming around. Alright, let's grab this. I think he's inside. Let's see if he's inside. Let's use the, uh... Oh, I missed him. Let's try this. See if it works. Oh, man. Nice. Can't see him, though, man. Oh, I ran all the way through. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Alright, let's kind of clear out. Come out here. Because I can't see Diddly Squat. Anybody else around me? I'm all paranoid now, man. Zombies. Yeah. Sit you again. Oh, he hit me. He hit me. dude. <laughs> These things take your energy. Alright, what happened that? Oh, I hear a drop coming. That's a good one. I think that was it on him. Give me some food, man. Give me some water. Nothing, you cheapskate. Alright, let's find this other dude over here. I hear you. There are a couple of them, man. Yeah, well, I'm waiting on that dude to come out. Let me take care of this guy. Let me headshot. Oh, yeah. Eight. Three in a row shots. I'm getting better with these archery, man. Oh, little cap. Little dapper. All right, let's go. But this guy's stuck in there somewhere. I don't waste a lot of time. I want to get through this and roll on to the next one. I want to hit popping pills. Where are you, slappy? Be crawling around here. I heard you. Yeah. 
You back here? Oh yeah, you are. You on the ground? Yeah, that's what I thought. Come on. Come on, buddy. This way. You're right there over the left, too. I got two in here on me. I don't know if I hear or not. There you go. Alright, come on. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Come on. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Dang, you're slow, man. You guys probably never eat. All you crawling zombies, how are you ever going to get anything? It takes too long. You know what I'm saying? It takes too long for y'all to get to people. Ah, yeah, you're not going to do anything with the head. That makes things easier, right? Man, nobody's got anything on them. Alright. Well, let's roll through this. I'm hearing too many zombies around here. It's bugging me. Let's get in here and get this stuff going. You know, I'm paranoid, though. I do want to run over here and check this zombie over here. Oh, the nurse is in there using the bathroom. Check her out. Huh? <laughs> I wonder what she was dating. Urine specimen, maybe? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, come on, honey. I'll... I'll give you a specimen. Blood specimen. The nurse is really, uh... Low health. That actually may, may have killed her. Yeah, that killed her. One shot right in the head and she died, so they don't have a lot of health. And they tend to have bandages and stuff. Which is kinda cool. Alright, so let's roll up in here. Let's roll through these. Oh, so that was empty. Don't need that. Let's throw you back up on the wall. Your drink while I'm going through this one. Ah. Fireman's axe. I keep getting fireman's axe, man. I don't know why. It sounds like I got a kid crying in the background somewhere. Maybe my wife's talking to him. My kids fight all the time, man. I don't know if any of y'all got kids out there, but man, my kids just seems like they're always fighting. I guess it's just part of having brothers and sisters. I don't know. I was, I was the only child, so I didn't go through all that. It was just me. Man, look at that shopping cart, dude. That shopping cart's a blue. It's 477. Man, that's a ground score there. Can't beat that. I don't know what I'm going to use for glass. It's not like I'm going to put glass in my place. Chainsaw blade will be helpful. Anything else? Alright, so... Let's go ahead and try to roll through this thing. I got a crappy... ...thing. It, it'll probably die before I get through this, but let's try it anyway. But sometimes, man, there's just nothing in here. Most of these safes don't have much. Let's see if we can get through before this thing dies. No, nobody hears me yet. That's good. Making all this noise, man. Got a zombie sneaking up on me. I wouldn't even hear it. Use a sledgehammer on these two. So I'm getting 20 per tick. Let's see what a sledgehammer does. Whoa. Heck of a lot better. Man, it takes the energy. So sledgehammer, for your, everybody who knows, sledgehammer is the way to go in a safe, man. That is a huge amount of difference. Well, not a huge amount. I think, 
if it wasn't tired, it wouldn't. It would be a lot better. Do I have anything I missed over here? No, I got all that. Nothing over here in the meantime. I'm letting my stamina come back up. I'm gonna go back to right here. It takes it away a little less stamina. Sounds windy outside. Oops. Yep. Mining tools level two. That's already as nice. Come on, this takes too long. And go. And go. So it takes away about about ten stamina for every hit. Yeah, more like 13. So I don't know which is faster. Yeah, but you can add maybe, uh, <clears throat> we haven't covered a lot of the whole skills and stuff. I'm waiting for the stamina to come back up. Let's go and look at our, uh, our skills here. So I've got 15 skills. So you can do stuff like, um, you know, you can make yourself where you, Slows of metabolism. That's a good one in the beginning, so you don't need to eat or drink as often. Well, this is eat, apparently. Camels for drinking. Uh, the fixer makes repair time less. Um, so what I really want is more... Now, I think it's this one right here. Sexual Tyrannosaurus. This should have uh, a lot of stamina. So, I'm going to go ahead and add that in here. And... See what happens. Uh, five. Yeah, it seems a bit better. It goes up quicker now, though. There we go. All right. So we got some some uh, shotgun stocks. It looks like so. Yeah. Over and over, not so bad. Like usual, I never. Uh, can I get this back? I think we're at the back. I don't. I'm not gonna get it. Come on, pick it up. Oh, I don't have any room. Oh snap! All right, I'm dumping the glass paint. I don't need that crap. Oh, well, who needs windows in their place? And let's take this. Swap it back around. Get that up here. Alright, so I think we're good to go. There's nothing else to search in this area. Let's go dump this stuff, and we may have time to hit another one real quick. Would like to find some food. Um, we could hit popping pills, but maybe we'll look around and see if we can find another one that might have some food in it. Maybe this grocery store here. That'd be nice. Let's do a, a dump here. Anvil's nice, man. Uh, let's throw that in there for that. I really don't need any casino coins. I mean, those never come in useful so far. We are. Right, that is not what I want to throw in there. I'll grab that in a minute. We'll leave the bandages. Now let's, let's get rid of those. We'll get rid of that. Scrap. Ward steel's nice. Let's get rid of that. Uh, don't need any of that. Probably won't run across any animals to kill. There's no water. Give me a water bag. I'll keep that. I don't need my club. Alright, so let's roll with this and see if I can get through it quicker. And we'll hunker down for the night and uh, call that day three. Although, how, many, how much, uh, man, I don't have any wood or rock. You know, something I'm not going to be able to craft much tonight. Um, 
It would be good if I could get some food. Let's roll down here and see what we got. So, what exactly is this? That's got to be the mortuary. I don't think I have any interest going in that at all, truthfully. Uh, there's some uh, iron... Some uh, iron arrowheads. Those would be helpful. So this looks like this is the end of town. Don't see any other buildings out here. No, nope, wrong. Just couldn't see that far away. This may be a bigger town than what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, this is maybe actually a main small one of the small cities. We may have have the opportunity for a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of zombies out though, man. Look at all the zombies out. Oh, is that what I think it is? Guys, I think we may have just found uh, a bunker. We may have just found a bunker. I'm not sure. It looks like it may be. There's a prison here. Oh, I need to walk now. Yeah. Uh, it's not a graveyard. I don't know. How close are y'all? Not that close. Nothing. Alright, let's, let's throw around this other house. Another house. Oh, snap. Is that a dog or a pig? That's a pig. Man, I hate the dogs, man. Don't let, don't get me going about the dogs. Is this gas? No, that's not light. Alright, so mortuary that way. Let's go ahead and hit popping poppin pills. It's close, and then we'll start working our way around. Actually, you know some never mind. I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit the bar. <laughs> I need a drink. I bet the bar will more likely have food than uh, anything else. Popping pills will. Popping pills will give us a lot of bandages. Oh, great, it's snowing now. I don't even have a good coat, man. Let's see what I can do here. Give me a coat. What's that? Oh, not sure what that's for. That, oh, don't step on that. Um, that may be for... Yeah, I can't do any of that yet. Maybe for a, making a uh, mini bike. That would be helpful, right? It is turning cold, guys. Turning cold. I hear somebody walk around inside. Probably somebody crack zombie. Sounds like I hear a bunch of them, man. Now it's just getting... How's it 96 degrees and it's snowing? Can y'all explain that? Can anybody... What is that guy doing out there? I don't know how it's 96 degrees and snowing. Alright. It's like somebody's been digging their way through here. I hear a whole ton of them. Are they all upstairs? Are they upstairs here? Sounds like I'm trying to get down. They may be locking me in. Oh, they got a back door and run up that way. No food in this joint. Door. Somebody's behind there. I hear him rolling around. 
2200 man I'm gonna have to I tell it here in a minute here we're rolling around outside anything in here need some food man need some food iron Got a lock safe don't have time for that there's a lock right yeah Over here, check the cooler. Man, this place is cleaned out. Nothing. Ah, there's water. Just gonna set it. Let me say it again. Nothing. Maybe I'll get some more stuff. Nope. Come on. Well, I got plenty of honey and water. Oh, hello, dude. That guy made it out. Let's see if I can get through this and run off. That anything up here? No. TV. Trash. All right, it's getting close. I'm running out. I gotta, I gotta get back and get myself ready. I'm not gonna be able to do any crafting tonight, though, unfortunately. Although, what I could do, I can do it quick enough. Hunted the same guy or a different guy? Yeah, same guy. That's fine. As long as the same guy, and I can see where he's coming from. I think he's trying to climb up the tree. Yep. All right, back up. Some food. Give me your food, man. I'll take your clothes. There's a deer, dude. There's a deer. Oh my gosh. Not much time. I cook some meat. Guys, sorry, cutting this close because you know what's getting ready to happen. They're getting ready to get mad. Just time to eat. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. Do I have any food left to eat? I got some water, some bowl, some eggs, so we'll be good there. Got some goods. We can make some clubs. Get our. Uh, other stuff is up. Oh, you know something what I need to do? I need to grab some. Oh, I got to get up, man. And run for my life. Alright, here we go. Scary time. Throw that down here. Throw it down here. Man, why is it not? How did it snow when it was 95 degrees? Does that make any sense whatsoever? I don't think it does. You can hear them running around, man. Right, let's make some eggs real quick because I don't have any food on me, I don't think. See any there? Eight water, so that's good. I can I can make four. Um, get off that. That's annoying. Uh, there's my legs. Let's go ahead and get them. I don't 
don't see any food in there either that I accidentally picked up and I don't know anything about. So that's good. Doesn't look like anybody's sensing me, so that's a good thing. So here you'll notice, see my bold eggs popped up in the top. I got everything I need. I already got the water, I got the eggs in here. So typically what'll happen is I got coffee beans. Coffee beans is good for, um, it'll be good for, uh, let's look at the recipe. It's, it's basically, it gives you a cap, right? Your stamina. Sorry, I somebody's on me. It gives you stamina. I think it also dehydrates you, though. So that's kind of a negative. Um, let's go back to our eggs. That's what our main thing I want. So we're going to do four. I need some more water. And it's 100 degrees outside, and I am... How is it 100 degrees outside? It's great. So here's, here's a key or a uh, tip I can give you. So hot, cold, whatever, right? If you, uh, if you're under a, some kind of outside area, you know, yeah, sorry, let me start over here. <laughs> if you're under a covering, it will always either keep you warm or keep you cool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull together a covering over here. And y'all can see the difference in what will happen. Now, you are going to heat up based on the fact that you've got a fire next to you. But I bet you're going to see more of a difference because the heat really isn't coming from the fire in this at this particular time. It's more coming from the fact that it's hot outside, right? So I bet you're going to see it going down. Let me that thing up. Uh, stamina decreased. See that? Stretch, stretch. Come on. Ah. Alright, whatever. Let's do it here. I, I can do the rest. Like this. Man, 106. What am I in a freaking the desert? So now, let's fill this in right here. So let's upgrade it. They're going to hear me, so they're going to freak out. That's okay. Let's stand under them now. Let's see what happens. Feel warm by the fire. But am I cool? Nope, 106. Alright, so let's step away. Let's try this over here. Detecting now, that's good. Let's see if I can get out of the elements and see how big of a difference it makes. Alright, see how it's going down. So I'm 104 now. I'm also losing a lot of health here because I'm not eating yet. I've got no food. So let's go eat our eggs. And you can see how the temperature started going down as I started covering myself. So that's good. So we're actually going to turn this off now, cool us down more. Let's eat some eggs. Mmm, they look yummy. Mmm. Actually, like mine, uh, over easy, but hey, you know, when you're in a zombie apocalypse, what does it matter? So you notice the eggs also give you basically one third of a wellness point. So three of these, and you'll see it now, will bring me up to like 93. I don't know. Excuse me, it'll take four. Because they're, they're not 33 and a third, they're 32. Just under what I needed, right? So, let's drink some, drink some of this and let's... Oh, I want to decrease. Yeah. It'll decrease. Still decrease, it's odd, right? I don't know, man. Should have not decreased. 
Alright, so let's, let's make some stuff. Uh, you know, I'm gonna start saving these right here. Because, uh, I actually might gather up enough that I can actually buy some stuff. Who knows? Air filter, get rid of the nails. Scrap that. Plant fibers. I was trying to get enough where I could, uh, there's a leather duster. That'll keep me warm. A lot of beer. That's sweet, right? Don't even need those eggs. Uh, let's go ahead and eat this one again. Now you should see a point go up. Maybe. Right? 91. Do it. Do it. Yeah. But I did lose a point after I started that process, so that may be the reason. So we can make some iron arrowheads. Those would be cool. And uh, well, I got some iron pipe here too. I didn't notice that coming in. And a car battery. That's pretty nice. Alright, so we've got a few hours left. Let's um, let's do some crafting here. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the iron arrow. I like my iron arrows, man. So I can do a maximum of two of those. And we'll go ahead and finish the arrows out for what we got so we can get rid of those feathers. Once we get our forge going, we'll make some, uh, a whole bunch of those iron arrows. All right, so now let's go to, uh, what have we got for blender bus? Yeah, we're gonna get the forge going to really do that. Oh well. Let's make a whole ton of, can I make a spike club? No, I can't do that yet. Ah, I can always do that. Let's go back over to the beginning here and we'll start making our club. So like before, I told you I make as many as I have in my inventory plus three and then I just cycle through them and then I scrap them as I go. So it's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I'm going to make 25 at a time. And I'll show you all how I go through this. All right. Scrap, scrap, and scrap. And then I'll let the rest roll through. And then when they start scrapping, those first set of the three that are queued up over there, I'll start scrapping the rest. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make this super long of a post here. We'll get through tonight, and I'll start the next one. Yeah, my wife got on to me for making my first post an hour and 40 minutes, so... Yeah, whoops. Sorry, I was in the moment. It happens, right? Yeah, so we should be able to hit 200, I think. See, and we're getting seven wood back every time we scrap that, so that's good. That way you're maximizing your resources and the time while you're just sitting here waiting for uh, daytime to come around. Now, some people like to go ahead and run around at night, and in the beginning, man, don't do it. <laughs> I actually, one night, I, when I first started, I was, uh, I didn't make my shelter good enough, and they busted through, and I fell down, and man, I just took off running. I didn't even look back. And I survived the night, surprisingly. I don't know how I did it, just by luck, but, uh, yeah. I was scared, man. 180, yeah, we're gonna make, we're gonna hit the second level of our weapons here soon, and then we'll, uh, we may have enough plant fibers we can make a new bow, so that'll put us over 200. That'll make our damage better uh, for our bow, so that'll be good. And uh, then tomorrow, on my day four, we'll hit popping pills, and maybe we can hit some of the other places. I need to uh, need to get some more resources though. I need to keep doing that. That's a problem. There's not enough enough hours in the day of this game to, once you kind of get going, you're like, eh, I'm going to spend a day just gathering resources, or, you know, the whole idea is, by the time you hit day seven, you need to be settled and kind of have a defense, 
because this is kind of a tower defense uh, game also, although I hate tower defense games. I mean, you set up your spikes outside and try to pick them all, you know, pick the zombies off so they're coming. Me, because on the seventh day, they know where you are. But what I like to do in the beginning is on that first seventh day, because I'm generally not prepared, I'll get on top of a building and then I'll go the opposite, the total opposite side of the roof of where my entrance is. Because what they'll do is they'll, they'll congregate to you. And uh, by them congregating to the side that you're standing on, it's not close to your entrance or to your stairs or whatever else you have up there. Um, they they can't find their way to you as long as there's not a ladder there or anything. Now that now if it's you don't want to really do that on a wooden building. You want to have that on a on a brick building because it takes a lot more for them to get through there. But that's generally what I do for the first seventh day. I'm a chicken. Sorry. I am chicken. To, to the zombies, I'm definitely chicken, right? They want something to eat, so I'm taking it safe. Well, we almost made that one, right? Almost got to two under there. We'll get it the next round. Got 22 things of uh, empty... Jars, man. If we could get hit a river, run across the river, fill all those up, we'll be straight. Try to keep the rhythm going here, and it is daytime. So survive night three. Good deal. Knew we would. Let me roll through one more of these, and uh, I'm going to call this a episode. And uh, we'll take this back over, and I'm overheating. It's 100, man. Um, there we hit. We hit yellow. Good deal. So then we'll start out on day, uh, let's see, day three? One, two, three. Yeah, this is, that was day three, so this is day four now. So, good deal. Hey, so, uh, guys, uh, if y'all like this, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. That'd be great, too. That'd help me. Uh, leave comments, ideas, um, you know, I'll take bad and good, I don't care, it's all good, and, uh, hope you all come back and, uh, see what I got going on day four, we'll see what happens, see what I can find in Poppin' Pills, and maybe we can find some other stores, I'd like to find a, uh, a place to get some food, man. Maybe go hunting. I really need to start hunting, and uh, if I can get hunted, getting some hunting going, we can get uh, that forge going, and then we can really start rolling. So maybe, maybe after popping pills, I'll try to do a little hunting. All right, I appreciate it, guys. Uh, Y'all have a good evening, and uh, tune in next time. Thanks a lot.